Hello everyone, welcome back. I've been uh, shooting this uh, uh, 22 conversion uh, bolt for the AR-15 today. I just, just came in today. Uh, this is the CMMG uh, AR conversion bolt. Uh, and basically you take out the existing bolt that's in your AR-15 and you replace it with this. And you use these magazines that they give you with it. Uh, this was $160 um, and it came with three of these magazines. Uh, so that's pretty good because a lot of times they'll charge you $200 just for this bolt. Um, that was over at uh, Primary Arms. So it was $160, the bolt, three of the magazines, um, and then with the shipping and taxes, it came out to $180. Okay, so uh, I got a chance to try it out today. I was shooting at 100 yards, um, and I was using this Ruger MPR. It has the 1 to 8 variable scope on it. It's got the 18 inch cold hammer forged barrel. Um, and basically, I, I did this a couple of times. I'm, group, I'm seeing groupings of five to six inches with one occasional flyer somewhere. Okay, so uh, this one here was the best grouping I did between the first two shots. We got five inches. Okay, but I did have one flyer way out here. And I saw this repeatedly a couple of times when I did this. Okay, so. It's fair to say that you're gonna get groupings of five to six inches. Uh, for comparison's sake, I pulled out this uh, Ruger 1022. Now this just has a red dot on it. Uh, it doesn't have the magnification. Um, but I took that to 100 yards. At 100 yards, I shot uh, four and three quarters. Okay, so pretty close. I mean, I didn't have magnification on this, but uh, all in all, not bad. I mean, this gets pretty close to what the dedicated 22 is shooting. A couple of reasons why you would expect the accuracy to fall off is, I mean, your chamber is like way back here, okay? So, so, so you actually have a, they give you, the bolt gives you its own chamber. And then after the round goes off, it travels down this extension tube where it goes into your barrel. So the bullet travels some distance before it meets the rifling. And that tends to make the bullet less accurate. Because when it hits that rifling, there's that, that sudden jolt, as opposed to a, a dedicated 22, where the second, you know, immediately when the when the um, uh, when the cartridge ignites, the bullet meets the rifling pretty quickly, uh, and then you know it continues to accelerate down the barrel. So the, the bullet has more time to accelerate to accelerate before it meets the rifling. So that's one thing that is going to. Uh, uh, w one reason why you would expect this to be less accurate with this uh, conversion bolt. The other reason why you would expect this to be less accurate uh, is because um, uh, it, the twist rates are different. This rifle has a 1 in 8 twist, okay, and I don't know what the twist rate is, is in that Ruger 1022, uh, but it's not the same, okay, I'm pretty sure of that. Uh, so because of the twist rates are different, the bullet's spinning at, at a different speed than what it's probably supposed to be spinning at. So that's another reason why you would expect the, the gun to be less accurate with the uh, conversion cylinder. But that said, uh, with this conversion bolt, you know, I'm getting, you know, you know, groups of five to six inches with one flyer uh, as compared, compared to four and three quarter inches. I mean, I, I probably, I'm pretty sure I've hit three inch groups with this one. So, but that said, you know, today is a, I'm getting gusts of wind today. Um, I was trying to time my shots when the wind died uh, died down. So, uh, you know, the, the weather conditions aren't great today. So, uh, in the future, I'll try it again, and perhaps I'll get better groupings. But if I get better groupings on this, I'll expect better groupings on that. If I'm shooting it on a day that, you know, on a day where there's no wind at all. So, um, that's those are my results. Uh, five to six inch groupings. Uh, with the occasional uh, flyer at 100 yards. Oh, and I was using the, um, the CCI uh, mini mags. That's what I tested this out with. Uh, one of the things I found interesting is that I expected the bullet, to, I, I never noticed this, noticed this before, but the uh, I expected the copper to be a little bit smoother on this. And I checked, I have, a, I have a couple of these. I checked them all out. If you look at like uh, even Tula, nine millimeter, you'll notice that the uh, the, the the copper jacketing is, is a lot smoother than what it is on the CCI, um, you know, bullets. So I just found that interesting. I, I would have expected that, um, 
the premium ammo that that would have been a lot smoother. Maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe once it runs down the barrel, they get smoothed out. Uh, you know, that's probably the reason why nobody cares. But you know, for, at, at the same token, when you look at when you look at Tula, you know, or any other uh, uh, ammunition, it's smooth. So, uh, just something that surprised me today. I never noticed it before. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm really happy I got this. It's working pretty good. Uh, I shot it with the Blazer bulk ammo with Blazer. It worked pretty good. I tried it with the Remington uh, Golden bu Bucket. Uh, it, it, it was not feeding. I was having problems with the Remington uh, 1400 rounds Golden Bucket. Uh, but the um, the um, what was I saying? The uh, Blazer Blazer was working fine in, in both of these, in this gun and also in another AR that I tried it. So if you guys got any questions, comments, feedback, anything you guys think I should try out, uh, put in the comment section. If you're not a member, subscribe. I'll see you guys soon.